All right, so today, House Speaker Mike Johnson will travel to Florida to appear alongside former President Donald Trump at his Mar-a-Lago estate. They're expected to make what they're calling a big announcement on election integrity. Uh, their meeting comes as Johnson's speakership is, of course, on the line. His Republican colleague and a tremendous Trump ally, Marjorie Taylor Greene, has been ramping up efforts to oust him. So CBS News' uh, Robert Costa is in Washington with more on this. So I guess my question to you, Bob, is what is this really about? I mean, is it about whatever the announcement is that's going to be made? Or is it about, uh, you know, Johnson shoring up his position as speaker? Good to be with you. For former President Donald Trump, this is significant because he is having the House Speaker, Mike Johnson, appear at his house. And that's a political statement. Remember when former Speaker Kevin McCarthy went to Mar-a-Lago shortly after the January 6, 2021 Capitol attack? That was a real moment for Trump to say he is still in command, in a sense, of the Republican Party. For Johnson to go to Mar-a-Lago, it's again a symbol that Trump is, in effect, the, the figurehead leader of the Republican Party. This event is going to be about election integrity issues, but it's important to note that when Trump talks about the election, he is someone who continues to falsely claim that the 2020 election was stolen from him and that he refuses to acknowledge that President Biden won the election and he lost. So, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene is a tremendous Trump loyalist, and I, I think she's a dependable Trump loyalist who's kind of not always dependable is the former president. Um, his alliances and allegiances, they can flip flop depending on whether or not he's benefiting. So uh, my question to you is, will this trip and if Donald Trump sort of co-signs on the speaker, will this help to limit those threats coming from Marjorie Taylor Greene to have him ousted? To a point. Representative Taylor Greene is someone who has been incendiary and independent minded since she came to Congress. And even though former President Trump and his allies might want her to stave off any effort to take out Speaker Johnson, there's no guarantee ever with her that she will somehow listen to leadership or listen to outside voices on how she's going to handle her congressional career. Johnson, though, he's in a precarious position because he has to manage the government along with the Senate and the executive branch, and that always is complicated. And conservatives are often furious about different details of government funding or different policies that are being extended. And even if Johnson doesn't personally support a lot of those extensions or funding, he is in a position as speaker, a constitutional position, where he has to reckon with all of it. And you see the tensions flaring now on issues like FISA, which is a surveillance issue, as well as Ukraine funding. By the way, before we let you go, Bob, do we, do we know anything about what this announcement is supposed to be? Well, this announcement is supposedly going to be about how people who are not citizens should not be able to vote, but that's already the law. Right. If you're not a citizen, you shouldn't be voting in American presidential elections. Yeah, and we, I, I think there's been like maybe two dozen cases maximum over the last 20, do two dozen uh, decades where something like that happened or so. But we'll wait for the announcement, and then we can talk more about that. Bob, thank you very much. Thank you.